हेलो दोस्तों वेलकम बैक टू द वीट को स्पारेंट एंड इन द लास्ट वीडियो यू हैव सीन द एमेलोडोसिस एंड एवरीथिंग अबाउट दैट फ्रॉम कैपलन एंड एंड इवन द बेसिक द माइंडेड कॉन्सेप्ट नाउ इट्स टाइम टू गो थ्रू द क्वेश्चंस एंड दिस क्वेश्चन इज गोइंग टू बी स्ट्रिक्टली बेस्ड ऑन योर ड्राफ्ट कॉन्सेप्ट एंड आल्सो यू कैन अप्लाई टू अदर स्टेप वन एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ रिसेंटली और इन द एनी अदर मेडिकल एग्जाम सो लेट्स बिगिन so the uh, previous year the 9th february 2021 croc one question exam uh, actually it was given in that moment so i am starting from that question basically because it was most confusing in that moment okay so question, uh, question was that out of the body of the 35 year old drug addicted man with a long history of the fibrocal uh, fibrocavitary pulmonary tuberculosis shows in large and dense spleen and kidney on fraction uh, there is tissue or grease and have a fatty Sheen. Microscopically, the red and white splenic pulp and the renal glomerular interstitium and mesangium, they are a deposit of Congo red positive mass, diagnose the type of damage in the, inner, in the internal organ. Uh, if you remember that yeah, as, in my, as in my class, I told you that whenever you see, the, uh, see there is Congo red positive, that moment it is 110% confirmed, this answer is going to be amyloidosis, right? Now to go to the type of type of amyloidosis, if you remember my keyword, that trick which I gave you, the simple I T R. In where I stand, it stands for for inflam inflammatory bowel disease, T for TB, and R for rheumatic arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis. In this moment, there is given that it is tuberculosis. So. Whenever you see the ITR, that moment your amyloid. First, you have to confirm the amyloid. How amyloid confirm? Either it will be Congo red positive, or it is going to be apple green color by differentiation. Okay. So first, it is confirm it is amyloidosis, and when it is ITR, that means it is secondary. So the answer is going to be secondary, right? So now, uh, let's go to the next. Next question. The next question, which was asked, okay, is so yeah. Again, on the basis of ITR, this answer, I just uh, have given it. If you see the question, so again, the same thing you have to apply. When there is a test for amyloid and the kidney was positive, so it is it is already given. Diagnostic test of amyloid, they are the positive. If it is confirmed it is amyloid, then first just close your eyes and check for the ITR. I. I. T. R. Here, what you found? There is. A tuberculosis is given in this moment second is going to be answer okay i will explain in the, uh, in the after covering all questions uh, concluded don't worry don't those uh, you are not attending class or they are not having a class with me they they can get, get that trick don't worry okay so the next question it was 120 number and it says here like uh, uh, again in this question has been given okay. now again that same thing what you have to what you have to see that there is a diagnosis correspond described about so uh, yeah yeah it is have it is given muscle alveolar as well as renal amyloid renal amyloid so again amyloidosis is confirmed whenever you have seen the amyloid the second step which you have to go as usual it is I T R. Is there any is there any form of ITR? You can see uh, inflammatory bowel disease. It's not here. Tuberculosis not here, and uh, there is uh, rheumatoid arthritis. It is not. So, or also there is no option in second time amyloidosis. That moment it is going to be discarded. Okay. Now the next step, as I told you, uh, in my uh, in, uh, like uh, in class, I think if you remember that moment, I told you the first one. Just use this concept. Acute case, our antibodies act, and when antibody act, that is our primary defense mechanism. And when there is chronic case, their blood antibodies, okay, like uh, uh, IgG, IgA, IgM, like uh, 
uh, in this moment cell mediated immunity act in this moment blood immunity okay when blood is involved that is chronic chronic and uh, uh, here as uh, from the definition of that that thing septi uh, here it is uh, why it is chron uh, chronic because it has been given in the question long time intoxication okay septicemia semia it, it can be acute also but here the question itself is uh, is describing now see the next question next question which is uh, it was 120 Yeah, 242 question. Here uh, you can see easily that autopsy of a man who has been suffering from multiple bronchiectasis and uh, died from the chronic renal insufficiency. Revealed the kidney there were dense enlarged second cortical and color the greasy luster. It is again. Now uh, why I gave this term as a uh, crock specific because these are the outdated term and only and only crock use this thing. Okay. if you remember i told you to identify amyloidosis what you have to keep in mind first yes it was congo red positive congo red positive and the second term that is it is going to be apple green birefringens and it is its second name it is you, that is greasy luster or it is like you can say uh what to say synonyms okay so this is secondary now another thing trick from i uh, if that moment i didn't tell you because it uh, because i was just willing to not uh, make it con make it you know mess in, mess in your mind so here when you remember i t r plus this term bronchiectasis so mnemonic is itr bro okay by this you can solve uh, all question from this section and the next one let's see yeah this question was supposed to be easiest because uh, use use that trick everything is given here long term have been suffering from osteomyelitis tight progressive renal failure following was a revealed deposit of the homogeneous eosinophilic masses in the ground of mesenchyme arterial sclerosis stroma which color red is stained with the colored red when is stained with congo red you saw that so whole question is going to be solved only one line because of one line it is positive and otherwise okay so next question it is going to be that uh, yeah it is here now that uh, uh, how you have to differentiate from like uh, amyloid and other local halinosis what does it really mean that uh, whenever it is going to be asked hmm? uh, just uh, after one question more i will give you compact uh, uh, compact conclusion okay of uh, amyloid amyloid and tricks so here it was given that uh, revealed stomach deep rounded defeat with the regular edges lesser and everything is given and uh, translucent dense area resembling the yeah translucent dense area resembling the hyaline cartilage this was the important whenever you see the hyaline cartilage that moment you have fluid of the stomach and stomach is so one thing you have to keep in mind what when you deal with the amyloid question mostly kidney will be affected hepatic spleen or megaly will be given okay spleen will be given liver will be given okay or in the question what you can see heart in some cases given in my class i told you again and again and anything except these words are going to deal with another term carpal tunnel syndrome is another thing okay so i think it is not going to ask here just keep in mind that anything In the crock questions you see accept them don't be confused with this term amyloid first see congo positive or not if congo positive or apple green very friendly is only then you have to move for the amyloid amyloid type of question otherwise just leave that because it's not going to be that answer okay 
so now we are going to the last question last question is uh, yeah uh, it has been given actually uh, that uh, uh, bronchic tassis question when that is going to be answered reason for this it is given in the question it is uh, due to renal amyloid okay so no doubt renal amyloid was the reason cause of death but uh, you now you are seeing in the option there is no option like uh, amyloid so in that moment you don't have to go for any other thing everything is going to be just from they have they have to be they are going to be this section itr row apply this and it is going to give you answer 100 percent but here in this case in this case uh, when uh, you can see here that lungs detected multiple bronchial dilation with the mass of functional bronchial lumen and lung resistant mass pattern or something honeycomb and uh, chronic inflammation as as you know previous i told you whenever there is chronic amyloid that is going to be secondary and when if it's secondary that moment just see itr and bronchiectasis so here neither inflammatory bowel disease or tuberculosis or uh, uh, rheumatoid arthritis is given only and only bronchiectasis is given in some case if if uh, it is not given so any one of them is going to be answered okay so this is the conclusion of every kind of question which is going to supposed to be asked from the this section okay so now let's uh, uh, so now, now let's talk about uh, their their key okay how you have to keep because the previous video i told you i gave you the detailed description and which i found very difficult to understand that's why i am giving you here to know all these factors which is uh, uh, which is supposed to be important from exam point of view what you have to keep in mind first what is amyloidosis this what questions what kind of questions may be asked that's i'm just giving that point the first question it is uh, first uh, key extracellular always and it is always pathogenic okay now how to identify the next question how just remember two thing in the question either it is given congo red positive or it will be given apple green birefringes apple green birefringes and also in some case it is given that greasy luster greasy luster okay now the second thing what type of here how you have to go through them that it is primary secondary or tertiary on the basis of their deposition they have the further division of amyloid they may be one organ limited to one organ or they may be multiple organ okay or they may be genetic okay if one organ is affected in that moment just go for the local amyloid and uh, only a single most favorite or single answer which is going to be there they will be 100% from the medullary cell carcinoma of thyroid medullary cell carcinoma of the lock you can you can i can give you here thyroid cancer thyroid cancer so you have to go like this way first if it's positive then if thyroid cancer is given so uh, local amyloid is going to be answered now when more than two organ is being affected in that moment more than two organ is affected in that moment means that infection or diseases is going to be proceed or process in that moment the first one it just apply that acute or chronic on the basis of acute and chronic okay if they are acute there our antibodies means cell mediated immunity antibodies will be involved and they are going to be known as our primary amyloidosis and when there is chronic especially lungs or kidney will be affected that moment and uh, uh, if they are chronic that moment you have to look for the 
or like the blood blood medi mediated immunity blood mediated immunity okay igg iga igm igd and ige and if it is chronic remember my mnemonics that is itr bro itr bro means where i stand for I, uh, inflammatory bowel disease t stand for tuberculosis r for rheumatic arthritis and uh, uh, bro for the broget process and the next one in if it is going to be gen uh, and also it is going to be genetic form in the genetic form it, it may be uh, and what you have to remember only remember one thing from question point of view the mutation will be given and trans trans thyretin trans thyretin okay so this is uh, this is this is the complete okay and uh, one more thing it is acute or chronic or maybe based on aging miss old age that is known as senile or someone is having especially prolonged kidney failure chronic kidney failure kidney failure renal failure except this there is nothing which is going to be asked and uh, uh, in case of here acute acute primary amyloidosis here example uh, what you have to keep in uh, keep in mind light chain disorder multiple myeloma only this was the important term so uh, once again let me give you the compact compact form that whenever you see in the question that they uh, they are congruent positive first uh, what you have to keep in mind first c here let me highlight it hmm. first you see this one why it is not in color yeah is yes, uh, so first to see this thing it is congruent positive or apple green fine is only then you have to go for the amyloid otherwise it is not going to be answer 100% sure either it is giving that it is amyloid amyloid positive they are always extracellular and pathogenic form this is for definition and uh, when this thing are you found the second second step what you have to see they have the local organ one organ defected or more than one hmm. if more than one one then go for acute chronic or aging in acute case you will see there is only and only lymph means lymphatic circulation is going to be disturbed that moment only you will see one answer multiple myeloma multiple myeloma question is there like uh, their symptoms will be there but if you see there is chronic so in chronic you have to just remember pneumonic itr bro and uh, uh, if in case of uh, there is aging or aged person having heart problem but congo congo red positive they are going to be senile answer and it is chronic renal fa renal failure in case of in case of there is uh, uh, like a uh, sorry in case of there when uh, when there is prolonged infection in the kidney and that moment you will i mean you will hear that one term that is carpal tunnel syndrome cts carpal tunnel syndrome genetic transcyrene only one word you have to keep in mind hope this is going to help you and let's begin with the next question